Good morning, Calvary. Uh, Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And it's a Monday and Christmas just passed. And I am hoping and praying that you truly had a Merry Christmas. And if you did, praise God. And if you didn't, well, it might be because you were around an angry person. Uh, Proverbs 29, 22 says this, A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. Did you catch that? Somebody who is full of wrath creates strife, and someone who's angry all the time causes sin, causes transgression. So strife, brokenness, hurt feelings, joyless celebrations are often because of an angry person or an, an entire angry family dynamic. So Proverbs encourages us to limit our exposure to people who are angry. In fact, there's all kinds of Proverbs that warn you about hanging out with an angry person because they're going to create sin and they're going to cause you to sin. Uh, so uh, in, unless you want strife, you might want to limit some of your exposure to people who are angry. Now, if that means that your friends are angry, you might want to get new friends. I know that sounds harsh, but bad company does corrupt good morals. Uh, that's one of the teachings of Scripture. The one who walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools suffers harm. That's Proverbs. So uh, you may want to get new friends. Now, if your family are, are the ones who are angry and you got to be with them, then you got to pray for them. Okay, you need to be praying for them. When you're praying for people, it's really hard for you to, you know, stay angry and dislike them a lot. So you need to be praying for them, asking God to bless them, asking God to bring them peace, asking God to reveal his love to them. And you need to practice Proverbs 15, 1, which says, a gentle answer turns away wrath. Okay, in other words, don't poke the bear. Don't, you know, bait them into getting angrier and blowing things up. You just be gentle and try to mitigate that anger. Now, if you are the angry person, it's time to repent. Okay, if you're the one who is angry at everyone, if you're the one who created all the tension and all the strife and all that, it's time to repent. And it's time to get help. And Celebrate Recovery and counseling come to mind as instruments of getting help. But mostly it's about saying, okay, God, why am I angry? And why am I taking it out on other people? Because I would remind you, Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I don't know about you, I want to be known as a child of God, not as somebody who stirs up strife and dissension. But it boils down to this, the choice is ours, about how we're going to live our life and what boundaries we're going to put around our life so that we're either not the angry person or we're not indulging the angry people. Hey, I hope that helps, and I hope to see you at Celebrate Recovery or in counseling. God bless.